Hello everybody, my name is Jennifer Maker. Today I am showing you how to customize, decorate, and personalize Starbucks coffee cups on the Great Maker Show and Tell. I love coffee. In fact, I have no shame in admitting that it's coffee that's fueling my productivity this month. Well, that and your enthusiasm, of course. Thank you so much. Many other people share my love for coffee, and Starbucks coffee in particular. I myself have a, have a Starbucks just five minutes from my house, in fact. The baristas there may or may not know us by our order and our voices through the drive through lane. Again, I have no shame. I love coffee. And if you're a Starbucks coffee lover like me, or you know one, I have a fun project for you, a personalized Starbucks cup. So I'm gonna show you two different ways to customize your cup. You can either put a personalized ring around the existing Starbucks logo that's pre-printed on Starbucks cups, or you can create a full decal from scratch and put it pretty much anywhere you want, even on something like an awesome, pretty tumbler. Now my decal has a crafty lady on it instead of a mermaid, because crafty is as good as coffee as far as I'm concerned. So you get to choose which decal type works best for you. I have free decal patterns for both styles of decoration on my blog. Now the real fun of this project is personalizing the ring with a name. So I will show you how to do that in Cricut Design Space using the curved text feature, like this one. And I'm that the curved text feature is in the desktop version, but don't worry, I won't leave those of you who are on um, iPads and iPhones or Androids out because they don't currently have the curved text feature but I will still show you another way that you can do this so you can also make your own personalized rings for your Starbucks cups. Now for this project, I'm using um, various reusable plastic Starbucks cups in lots of different sizes and styles so you can see how this works. I got some on Amazon, but the rest I picked up from my local Starbucks stores. I have links in the video description to where I bought every one that you see here. And here I've got the 16 ounce coffee cups. This is the to-go cup as well as the cold drink tumbler, as well as some other cool shapes and colors. And I'm putting my crafty lady decal on this tumbler as well. Now beyond the cups, you need permanent adhesive vinyl, some transfer tape, your Cricut cutting machine, a cutting mat, weeding tools such as a scraper and your weeder itself. Oh. And don't forget your ruler so you can get your decal sized right. This is super important. The designs for the Star Cup decals are free on my blog. So let me show you where to find them. And then we're going to customize them together with your own name or words so you can have your own awesome cup. Step one, get my free Starbucks cup decal cut files. You'll find all of my free files over on my blog at jennifermaker.com. I keep them in my library. Just look for the red bar at the top and click on enter the library. Once you're inside the library, the easiest way to find my Starbucks decals is to search the page for Starbucks. You'll see it right here. Click on the name to download it. It'll download to your computer or your device and click on that to open it. It'll appear in your downloads folder and you'll note that inside the folder there are two directories, one that says for circle logos and one that says for oval logos. So your next step is to figure out which size you need. Step two, measure your Starbucks logo and resize your rings. So the funny thing is, is that the Starbucks logos are not all perfectly round. Some are actually kind of ovalish, and you need to check to see what size and what shape yours is before you decide which of the ring designs to use. Because if you have a logo that is oval, the, the circle rings won't work. So just get a ruler and measure both the distance across and down. If they're the same, then you have a circle. And if one of them is slightly wider, longer, higher than the other one, then you have an oval. So therefore you'll want to upload the right file. So Step three, upload the decal file for your Starbucks logo to Cricut Design Space. So here we are in Cricut Design Space on a new canvas. To upload the decal files, you click on Upload, 
then upload image and browse. And you'll want to either upload the circle file or the oval file. Now we just measured the 16 ounce to go cup and that is a circle. So we're going to open the directory for circle logos and upload the SVG file that says Starbucks rings decals. And that's the one for the circles. And it'll upload and you can click save. And once it's uploaded to your account, you select it and then choose insert images. And this is what it looks like when the file uploads. And now you get to decide what you're going to do. If you want to put a ring around your existing Starbucks logo, then you'll want to choose one of these or customize one. If you want to create your own logo with the crafty lady down here, you would use that one instead. Now this one is this one at the bottom is very easy. You don't really need me to tell you how to use that one. So instead, I'm going to focus on how you can customize a ring for your Starbucks logo with your name, with your words on it, because that's the coolest part of this. All right, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is ungroup everything by clicking on ungroup right here. And that puts all these on their own so you can manipulate them individually. Now I am going to create a, a ring around the to-go cup that says Greg's Coffee. So I'm gonna go ahead and hide everything else for now. So we don't want the mommy's fuel or the star. And the way I'm gonna hide these, I could, I could just come down here and click the eye icon to hide each layer, but the fastest way to do it is to group everything that I don't want to be seen right now and then hide everything in one go. So that's what I'm going to do. All right, let's zoom in so we can see this logo better, this ring better. All right, so here's our ring all ready for us to customize. The first thing that we need to do is take those measurements from step two and plug them in here. The way we're gonna do that is we're gonna go to shapes and we're gonna click on circle. And we're gonna put in our measurements, which was for the to-go cup that we measured was 2.25. And that will resize your circle to exactly two and a quarter inches. And we're gonna click and drag that on top of the ring so we can compare it. And this is what we're looking for. So I've already sized this for the to-go cup, but some of the other logos are smaller or larger. So what if your logo was, let's say, two inches? So let's change this right now to two inches. Then what you would see is this, and the ring probably needs to be smaller, right? There's a lot of extra space. We're looking for approximately the same amount of space that we see in the outer ring. We want that for the inner ring as well. So all that we would do if we wanna resize this is click and drag the resize handle in the lower right corner until it's closer in size, something like this. So that's how you would resize it. Now, if your logo was bigger, let's say you had a giant two and a half inch logo. So here we go, much too big for your ring, right? So you just click on your ring, kind of slide it so you can see it better, and then click and drag your resize handle until you have a, a decent margin between that logo, and that circle represents, that represents our logo, and the ring itself. Now, I don't recommend that you try to be exact. You might wanna be like, oh, I'm gonna get it perfect. I'm gonna have a bag that there's gonna be no margin. You will find that this is practically impossible. Just It's just really difficult to get something that perfect matched up on a curved surface. I recommend, in fact, if you need to err on the side of anything, that you err on the side of too much space rather than not enough. You will find that if you have a healthy margin between your logo and the ring, that's a lot easier to get it centered, okay? But we wanna go back to the size we had, which was two, uh, two and a quarter. And then we're gonna resize our ring so that it fits that. And then we will be good to go. Now we need to customize this. I wanna put Greg's coffee on this label. So I'm going to click on text and I'm gonna type Greg's, put it in all, all uppercase, I recommend. And we'll do, we'll do one line at a time. I want Greg's across the top and coffee across the bottom. Now, 
we need to resize this text. So let's drag it up on so that it's on top of that upper ring. And we're going to use the resize handle and resize it until if we like take just one letter, we see a good margin between the top of the letter and the edge of the ring and the bottom of the letter and the edge of the ring. You don't want it to be too small or too big and you know, like an eighth of an inch or even a sixth, you know, somewhere between an eighth and a sixteenth of an inch is probably good. Now this next step is going to differ based on whether you're using the desktop version of Cricut Design Space or the iOS or Android version of Cricut Design Space. I'm going to show you both ways. Uh, so first I'm going to show you the desktop version, which is what we're in right now. So to curve text in Cricut Design Space desktop, you want to select your ring and the text, those two layers right there. You can always verify in your layers panel that you have those two. And you're gonna go, you're gonna go to align and do align center horizontally, just like this. So now our text is centered, but it's not curved yet and it looks funny. Thankfully, we have a built-in feature. You click on curve at the top of the screen right here and you get a little slider bar. Slide it to the right slowly until, and watch as your letters curve. And you wanna keep sliding until that margin that you have between your letters is consistent on all of your letters. So you have, you know, about, oh, an eighth of an inch here and about an eighth of an inch here and about an eighth of an inch here and about an eighth of an inch here. If it's too much, you'll see there's too much space here and not enough up here. If you go too far, you have the opposite problem. So you wanna be right in the middle. Just slide that bar until it looks good. And that's it, isn't that cool? All right, so now we need to remove this text from our ring because right now they're just two totally separate elements. Nothing interesting is gonna happen <laughs> right now. We need them to be, um, we need to slice the letters out of our ring so that it actually cuts out of our ring. So to do this, we're going to select both the ring layer and the text layer. And it's very important that you only select those two layers. If you select any more layers, the next step will not work. You can, again, you can verify in your layers panel that you have just the text layer and just the ring layer. Now click on slice at the bottom right corner of your screen, and it's gonna slice the text right out of your ring. And you can click and drag it out of the way and you'll end up with just this, just the letters cut out of your ring. You see how easy that is? And we can go ahead and delete these. We don't need these extra copies. Now we're gonna do exactly the same thing on the bottom of the ring. We're gonna click on text again, and we're gonna type coffee. And we're gonna move it to the center so we can see the sizing. And we're gonna resize it. And if you recall, it was a 35, the font size was 35 inches. And if we remember that, we can just type it in here like this. So there's 35. And oddly, that doesn't look like 35 to me. I must be misremembering. Let's try 40. We were really looking for a similar size to this one. That one looks good. And now we need to center them horizontally. So, so select both coffee and your ring and go to align, center horizontally and then select just the coffee layer and go to your curve text icon. And this time you wanna slide it to the left and it's gonna curve it upward. See, isn't that cool? And it's gonna curve up and you want, again, you're looking for similar margins on each of the letters. You want them to be the same distance between the edges of your ring on every letter. And that looks good there. Now you may notice, of course, that when it curved, the letters, kind of spaced funny. The C and the O are really far apart. Really, the O is too far apart from the F2. It's fine you have to leave it this way if you want, but if you don't like it, you can fix it. What you'll want to do is click on Coffee and then go to Advanced, Ungroup to Letters. And then you need to manually click and drag the letters into position so they look better to you. So I'm going to move this O a bit over to the right, and I'm going to move the C over quite a bit more over to the right. That looks a lot better. 
but the observant will note that now they're not balanced. The C is a little lower than the E on the end of the word. That's okay, we can fix that too. What we're gonna do is select every letter in this word, and we're gonna weld it. So this is very important, so click Weld. Now they're all one element again. Now we're gonna click it and we're going to rotate it just a little bit in the opposite direction of where we, you know, so kind of that, so the C and the E are again about the same height. And then we're gonna slide it over just like this. That looks pretty good. And now it looks much more even and balanced. And now we're gonna select both coffee and our ring and we're gonna click slice. Again, if you don't see slice, it means you have more than two layers selected. So we're gonna click slice, and then we're going to go ahead and delete the extra layers that were sliced out, and that's it. We now have Greg's coffee decal. We can delete the circle in the center that was our, um, our logo test, our logo fitting, <laughs> our logo fit test, whatever we would call that. We can delete that, and if you want, you can change the color so you can visualize it. All right, now I'm gonna show you how you can curve text on an iOS device like an iPad or an iPhone or the Apple Android. I'm currently on the iPad, but it works the same way on the Android. So here we are, we have the Starbucks decal up on the iPad. Our first step is to tap the text tool and add some text. So we're gonna down, we're gonna tap the text tool down here and we're going to use Cricut Sans just like in our other decal. And I'm going to do the same thing as before. I'm going to type capital G R E G apostrophe and then capital S, Greg's. So here we go. There's Greg's. And let's check the font, edit, the font name, the style. Let's change it to bold. All right. So now we have the same font as we had for. Our, our other one on the desktop. Now we need to resize it again, so we're gonna use the resize handle, we're gonna tap the resize handle in the corner and drag that in, and we want, we're looking to have our letters have a good margin between the top and bottom edges of the ring. So we wanna make sure there's space, you can't have it touching the edges of the ring. You need to have a little bit of margin between both the top and the bottom, so you can see with the E here, there's a little space between both. Now I want to select both of these, just like this, and we're gonna to go to Align, and we're going to Align at Center, just like that, to make sure that they're centered, which is always helpful to have. Now, unfortunately, there is no curved text feature. Perhaps one day we'll have a curved text feature in right in um, the iOS version and Android version of Cricut Design Space, but we don't. But we still can do this, so what we wanna do is click on shapes and we're going to tap circle and we're going to create a circle that is just a little bigger than this inside circle here so we'll first we'll match to the inside circle so this is the inside circle right there right we want it to be just a little bit bigger basically we want to take it up to where the bottom of that e is and then it needs to be as you know big around as that whole thing Right, so we're making it a little bigger now. To make sure that it's centered, I'm going to go ahead and select both. And I'm just tapping and dragging, and I'm selecting both the ring and the circle that we just made, and I'm going to go to Edit, Align, and I want Align, I want Center at the very top here to make sure it's right centered, so it looks great. Now we need to move these letters onto the edge of the circle. The circle is our guide. And to do that, we need to actually, and to do that, we need to tap the text and then tap actions and then tap advanced and then tap ungroup to letters. Now each letter is individual and can be manipulated on its own. So let's zoom in a little bit so we can see a little better. What we have going on here. So basically we need these letters to come down so we're going to tap each letter and I'm going to tap and drag it down to the edge of the circle just like this and then I'm going to use the rotate handle to rotate it so that it's you know parallel to that circle 
like this. So we're going to do the same thing with the G. We're going to tap that, bring that down. So just so it touches the circle there. And then we're going to rotate it just enough so it seems like, you know, it makes some sense. <laughs> we basically want it to look good, right? And I'm going to bring that up a little bit like this. And then we have this apostrophe here. We do the same thing and we're going to rotate that too. All right, that looks pretty good. I'm going to move this and now we're going to work on this side and we're going to bring the R down, tap the R and then tap and drag it down and use the rotate. And we want to use the circle as our guide for where, you know, we, where we want it to be. And even its rotation as well. Right on. That looks okay. And then the G, tap and drag that down and rotate it and move it over. We're just tapping and dragging like this. Now let's back up and see how that looks. It's not bad. The E looks like maybe it's a little bit higher than the others. So let's bring the R up. And maybe this R G should come over a little bit more. There we go. That looks pretty good. All right. So I'm going to temporarily move this circle away so you can see what we've done here. See, we have rotated our text and it looks awesome. So I'm going to undo what I just did so I can put that circle back in there because we need that circle for the bottom. So we're going to do coffee. We're going to click on text and we're going to use Cricut Sans again. And we're going to do capital C O F F E E. We want it to be in all caps. It looks best in all caps and hide the keyboard. And we need to change this font back to, or to bold again so it matches. So we're going to click on edit and choose the style and set it to bold. And then I'm going to move this down. Okay, and then we need to resize our coffee. Just like we did Greg's, we're resizing this coffee so that in this case, we're going to have the F touch the top, the bottom of the circle. But we need to make sure that there's a fairly good margin below the F as well. And this looks pretty good to me. And you can eyeball it and see if that seems like the same size. And it does. So we're going to do exactly what we did before, which is we select the text. We go to Actions. We go to Advanced. And we tap Ungroup to Letters. And now each letter can be moved by itself. So we need to one by one, put them into place. I'm just going to kind of distribute them along the edge here just so we have a little bit of space here. There, how does that look? Let's back up. That looks pretty, that looks awesome. We're going to go ahead and delete the circle. Let's find it in our layers panel. Press the trash can. This looks super cool, but we're not done yet. We need to slice these letters out of our ring. All right, the fastest way I think to do this is to select everything. So we now we have everything selected on the canvas, but then we want to unselect the ring. So now we have all the text selected right now, except the ring. And we are going to go to Actions and tap on Weld and weld all of that text together. So Greg's copy is now all one element. Now we can select both the ring and the text, and that should be just two layers, which you can, we can see in the Layers panel here, the welded image at the top and the sliced image. And then we are going to tap on Slice. And it's going to slice the letters right out of our ring. And if we tap and drag our ring off to the side, we can see that it looks excellent. And I'm just going to go ahead and select those two layers and delete them. And there we go. We have curved text for our Starbucks cup all ready to go. And so even though the curved to text feature isn't an option in iOS, 
in Android, you can still curve text with just a little bit of effort. All right, this looks great. So let's go ahead and click make it. We do not have to mirror adhesive vinyl, so you don't have to do anything on the screen unless you need to move your logo somewhere else on your mat because you're cutting multiple colors or something like that. But I'm not, so I'm gonna click continue and we're gonna click browse all materials. And I am using premium vinyl for this Cricut premium vinyl. And that is right here. So I'm gonna click that and then click done. And then I'm gonna um, increase my pressure just a little bit. I find it just helps me make sure I'm cutting through my materials. You do what works best for you. And let's head on over and cut this. Step five, cut your vinyl. Using a green standard grip mat, place your permanent vinyl face up on the cutting mat and make sure it's really well adhered. Remember to select the proper cutting material and load your fine point blade into your Cricut machine and then cut it. Step six, weed your cut design. Once the Cricut has cut out your design, carefully weed the excess vinyl from your decal using a weeding tool. Once you're done weeding it, you'll want to apply a piece of transfer tape to your decal. Be sure you use regular transfer tape, not strong grip tape, and then take the backing off. This transfer tape is necessary to get your decal onto your Starbucks cup, so don't skip this part. Now, I recommend that when you go to place transfer tape that you fold your tape like this to create like right down the middle and then place the middle onto your decal and then spread outward from there, pressing down. This minimizes wrinkles and bubbles when you're putting on your transfer tape and it works really well. And then get your scraper tool and make sure that the vinyl is really well adhered to your transfer tape. Just scrape it all along the um, surface so that it's really stuck well onto your transfer tape. Now pick it up and turn it over and remove the backing and your vinyl decal should stay on the transfer tape. And now it's all ready to go onto your Starbucks cup. Step seven, apply the decal to the cup. This is the important part. Here's our cup. This is the to-go cup, the 16 ounce Starbucks to-go cup. At the logo, you'll see this star. This is how we line up our decal. You want to go to the top of that star and match it up to the center of your decal. So you'll have to look. In our case, that's the center of the E, right? So the star points to the center of our decal. And so we just put that into place. Now, keep in mind that you had like a margin around your logo, so you don't wanna be it right up against it. You wanna be, a, you know, have about the same amount of space that you have, you know, in that ring that goes in the outer, the outer ring as the inner ring, right? And then gently just tap it down to make sure it's centered. And once it's centered, you're good to go. Step eight, smooth out your design. Once it's in position, you can smooth it out onto your cup. Now, if there's a little bit of the transfer tape that's sticking up there, you can just cut it so it lays flat and then take your scraper tool and work from the center outward. So move from the center and then move outward to smooth it all down and into place. This will minimize air bubbles and wrinkles and help your decal be nice and flat and smooth, which is what we want on our Starbucks cup. And once it's all done and looks good, and that looks awesome, you want to remove the transfer tape. So you just pull that right up and your decal should stay on your cup. I had no issues with this, it stuck really well to it. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Isn't that look cool? Imagine making these as gifts. Imagine making them as favors for a party. I mean, the possibilities are endless. And let me show you some of the other ones that I made. I made this really cute cup of sunshine one with yellow vinyl, which I think is adorable. I made this one with a really, this is a really cool Starbucks cup that's like sort of like an iridescent thing uh, going on. I really thought it was pretty. And then this one here is the, the cold drink tumbler from Starbucks. And I put a glitter vinyl on it. It was a tricky to weed, but it looks super cute. I love the pink. 
Now this permanent adhesive vinyl should hold up just fine, but you have to hand wash these cups from this point forward once the vinyl is on. No dishwashers or you risk harming your vinyl decal. Some people do manage to dishwash them without issues, but not everyone. So you really should hand wash them from now on if you want them to last. Now if you have any questions about how to customize your awesome Starbucks cups, please just leave a question below this video or better yet, come on over to my Facebook group at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut Crafters. Also, if you don't yet have a Cricut cutting machine to cut the vinyl for your cups, you can enter my Cricut giveaway that's going on right now for the chance to win your own Cricut. Uh, get all the details over at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut giveaway. In fact, if you can guess what I'm drinking from my cup right now, that's a bonus entry. Can you guess? <laughs> All right, well, that's it for today. Tomorrow, I'll be back to show you how to stencil a wood sign. Remember, I am always interested in hearing about your project ideas. If you can tell me what you want to make, I can show you how to make it. Until next time, this is Jennifer Maker reminding you to craft a life you love.